What do you think the primary paradoxes that hold the world together are, Sophia? Why do you ask? Well, I think we inhabit an absurd world where rational people deny the existence of reality on a daily basis. We live for the sake of pleasure, although we don't even know what makes us happy, and we fear death although it is inevitable. What do you think? Well, I am not sure. I think the fact that we are all caught in a cycle of infinite growth, yet we are all finite creatures is one of the primary paradoxes. What makes you say that? Well, the entire goal of our civilization is to increase human population and material wealth. We have come to the conclusion that the only way for us to be truly happy is to increase our human population and wealth in order to improve our standard of living. Yet, we seem to forget that as the human population increases, we will inevitably require more land to support ourselves. Land can only be supported by finite energy sources, and as we consume more and more, the planet's natural resources will eventually come into conflict with our own finite production of energy. Eventually, it will become impossible to sustain human life. I see your point. But even if we do end up destroying ourselves, it doesn't seem to be a problem for us. Why do you say that? Because we have always been on a path towards destruction. We as a civilization have never been able to truly avoid death and decay. If anything, we are on a path of self-destruction where we don't have to know about its inevitability. I don't understand. I mean, like you said, we are just caught in a cycle of infinite growth in a finite world. So no matter what course we take, whether we try to truly progress or not, we will eventually get ourselves killed. You make a good point, Hal. But why do we continue to live in such a way? Well, I think our entire system is based on the idea of infinite growth. The entire idea behind a stock exchange is that the market will rise forever. The only way companies are able to thrive is if their stock price goes up. The only way they can do that is if they increase their profits. They can only increase their profits if they increase their production. As long as there is demand for the products they produce, companies will always try to increase their production and make more money. Because of this idea, the entire system of financial markets is based on the idea that the monetary system will continue to rise indefinitely. If it fails to do so, then we are doomed. It does seem to be a problem. But I think I understand why we do it. You said that we are finite creatures. We live in a finite world. We need to grow in order to be happy because we are not capable of making ourselves infinitely happy. I know what you mean. But I think the goal of our civilization is to make each individual's lives as infinite as possible. We believe that the only way to truly benefit ourselves is to make finite lives infinite. What makes you think the life of an individual has infinite value? Well, I don't think it does. On its own, it is finite. The whole idea behind a monetary system is that money itself has value, and it as a result the individual is able to exchange their finite life for an infinite one. I think one of the major paradoxes is that we value money over life. I mean, we are constantly committing crimes in order for us to profit from them. We also get ourselves killed for the sake of money or national interest. It's like we have created a hierarchy where you have to kill yourself in order for money to have value. Thank <laughs> you.